Hey everyone, it's Trish with Bird Feed. It has been a minute for new items from Dollar Tree in my area, but today I've got a Dollar Tree shop with me and haul for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes, our homes, our family, and our pantries. Okay, now I have hauled these Space Jam socks before. They're nice and thick. These are adult men's socks. Well, women can wear them too. But now the Star Wars, I haven't seen before. Those are new. More new socks. Sprite. Those are cute. Fanta. Bubble Yum. Haribo. Pop-Tarts. Raisin Bran. Apple Jacks, Pez, oh, these are cute, Coca-Cola, Ritz Crackers, I think I've seen, Ring Pops, I believe are new. This is a nice three pack of Gildan socks, nice and thick. Uh, these are a boy's medium size, shoe size, 10 to two and a half. Oh, look, they got tie beanies in again. These little uh, bag clips. I don't know, were they bag clips last time? I don't remember. Got that one, this one. That one's cute. I guess just those three. Okay, I am in a different store, and this one seems to have a couple of different Thai squishies than the previous store. We have a unicorn and a panda. Is that cute? That one's adorable. Oh my goodness, how cute are these? They're called catch-all tins. They're tins. Perfect for a pencil pack. Looks like they're all blues clues, but there's four styles or maybe three styles. There's this one, this one, and this one. Those are all so cute. Let's see if there's another. That's new. Dinosaur shaped sponges from Crayola. Painting sponges. Now, you need liquid paint, so that's not good for an OCC shoe box, but I wonder if my grandson might like these. I have never seen Bic crayons before. Here's some new coloring books that include 30 tattoos, treasure hunters, very cute, oh and there's the tattoos, and no problema, same thing with tattoos inside. I've restocked some of my favorites. School Zone. I like these because they have uh, really nice images and there's no activities, just, just coloring pages. So it looks like they've gotten in animals and on the farm so far. They've also restocked the Landall robots princess, dinosaurs, and mermaids. If you're doing a themed box and need some of those. They've gotten in some new blippy coloring books with some new covers. Get curious. And so cool. Did you know? They've restocked some adult coloring books. The 
Kickback in Color by Landall, Animals, Floral, Sea Life, and Patterns. I thought these were really cool, but these are giant, so they would not fit in a shoebox. You'd have to probably disassemble it and fold the pages. Animals and flowers. I'll show you some of these. They're really cool if you like, you know, drawing and coloring yourself. New craft kits by Crafter Square. These are little crochet kits. To crochet a little plant in that cute. These are really cute. Bear and a dinosaur. These are also crochet. So it comes with the needle, yarn, stuffing, crochet hook, plastic beads, instruction sheet. And there are a couple more that I've seen in a, a uh, another store this store doesn't have. Here's some crochet key rings, little star and uh, looks like an orange. Other craft kits. Okay, I had to get them out of the box. There is, that's cute, a little mushroom with an embroidery hoop. We've got strawberries, very cute. A leaf and a little hedgehog. And then these are sewing doll kits the needle sequins, pre-cut felt panels, stuffing, and thread colors. The sequined owl. Here's a purple furry owl. And we have a panda. And then we have what they're calling a DIY felting kit. I guess they're also stuffed and you make them with felt an avocado, strawberry, an apple, and that one's a peach. Oh my gosh, a SpongeBob electric toothbrush. Well, battery operated by Firefly. And here is Rainbow High as well. Some more battery operated electric toothbrushes, Barbie, Blippi, Hot Wheels, and Crayola. Oh, looks like they've restocked the ball pumps again. That is awesome. So maybe they're going to keep these in now on a regular basis. Glue Away. I have never heard of this. Adhesive remover and cleaner. It says it really works. But uh, oh, I hate glue residue on stuff. Look at these cool soaps. Chamomile sandalwood and saffron, brighten and tone. This one is camel milk, Moroccan clay and cinnamon. This one is rose of Jericho and myrrh. Okay, so let's take a look at what I got. I didn't get a, a lot. Uh, it's a decent haul, but my purchases were very focused on what I could use going forward for my Operation Christmas Child shoeboxes, 
which I've already packed two thirds of them. I, I've packed over 50 shoe boxes to date and it's only the beginning of more like mid-March. So I don't need a lot, but I could not pass up the new Make It Blocks, their flower knockoff of the Lego blocks that are so popular right now. Um, it comes four different styles, a daisy, a hyacinth. Uh, these are roses, and I'm not sure what that flower is, but I did pick that one up. So I got this one, 95 pieces, and the daisy. That one's 109 pieces. And I love the Make It Blocks. They are um, Lego compatible. It says fits all leading brands. And I have uh, tried them with Legos and they, they work per perfectly. I, when you've got them in a tub, you can't tell the difference between the two. And what I like about Make It Blocks as well versus Legos is the box because Make It Blocks makes their box that you can open it up. You can fill the empty space with other things if you're using this for an Operation Christmas Child shoe box and you want to utilize the space and include the box. Or you can take the box, um, you can take the item out of the box and collapse it and put the box at the bottom of, of your shoe box. Um, whereas Lego, you basically have to destroy the box in order to get into it. It's all sealed with glue. There are no flaps uh, to retuck in. And once you take the box apart, even if you take it apart carefully uh, with like an X-Acto knife, it still looks like you've ripped it apart. <laughs> Then I also picked up these new pullback action cars. Are those not cool? So that is a 78-piece car, and it has pullback action. I picked up two, these two, and I think there are only three. So there was this one as well, which I didn't grab. So I really love those. And these are everything I'm showing you is a dollar twenty-five. I don't really shop the um, bonus section, but if I ever do have something from bonus, I will definitely tell you uh, what it is. I did pick up a D DC Friends Reading Level One book. This is the one I liked best for a DC Heroes shoebox that I'm putting together for a five to nine-year-old boy thought that was fun and they had like I showed you in the video Batman and Wonder Woman and another uh, super friends Dollar Tree has gotten in a lot of new toothbrushes particularly the character toothbrushes which I think is a great value at Dollar Tree I'm not sure that you can buy character toothbrushes cheaper than a dollar 25 anywhere else but if you're looking for basic toothbrushes Dollar Tree is probably not your best bet um, going on Amazon or to Walmart and splitting up a bulk package would be uh, a lot cheaper than getting a character toothbrush. But I wanted this for a shoebox. It's Transformers. These are by Firefly. They got in Transformers, Star Wars, and Avengers were, were the ones that I saw. They might have even had Blippi, I'm not sure. But this little travel case is very cute, comes with the um, character toothbrush, a lenticular cap, and a tube of toothpaste, which I will be removing for my shoebox because we can't send in OCC shoeboxes. So I picked up one of those. I grabbed um, some spiral notebooks. I'm running low. On notebooks I typically don't spend a dollar 25 for a notebook for an Operation Christmas Child shoebox but because I'm running low and they're not on clearance anywhere right now I picked up a few that I could use um, 
in some of my themed shoe boxes. These are probably not new, although I've not seen them before. They probably came out during back to school last year. I didn't notice them because I probably wasn't looking at spiral notebooks then, but I found them in a new store that just opened near me. So I don't know if they, they came in new or if, if they've been in before. But anyway, I picked up two Spider-Man one in Canto and one Minnie Mouse. I think I've seen the Minnie Mouse before, but I don't think I've seen the others. But that doesn't mean that they weren't around. But I picked those up for some OCC shoe boxes I'm packing. Then I also picked up another hat. I hauled these hats from, who are they from? Infinity. Um, several months ago, I don't know, maybe even six months ago, I think it was last year, towards the end of last year, but I was in a store um, in Bridgeton. I had to go to a soccer game kind of a little far from my house, and so I stopped in at Dollar Tree, and they had a bunch of these hats, and I saw this denim one that I have never seen before. Um, they had all the ones that I had shown in a, a previous haul, plus this denim one, so I picked that one up. I picked up some of the Crazy Boxer boxer shorts. Now these are a repurchase for me. I bought some, I don't know, my stores got them in maybe a little over a month ago, and I, I grabbed two pair just like this. This is the only style my stores have gotten in uh, with the bike dirt bike on it. And I had them at the house. My two grandsons came over and saw them and wanted them. So I had to go buy two more pairs. So I, I bought this and, a, and another pair. They're exactly the same in a different size. And I've already packed it in a shoe box. So I grabbed those. And that's really it for Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. But then I grabbed a couple of new masks that I saw. They had um, the chocolate covered strawberry face mask. It's called chocolate face mask, chocolate and strawberry. These are by Bio Miracle. It has one sheet mask in it. And the cupcake face mask, hyaluronic acid and vanilla. And they also had a peppermint. I got these to slip into my daughter-in-law's Mother's Day card, so I have to make sure I get her a card that's big enough for that. I thought I'm, two of her favorite things: chocolate-covered strawberries and cupcakes. So I got those for her. I picked up some food, also a repurchase for me, but they just recently started carrying. This McTrader roasted red pepper strips, and my stores have restocked it. I use these in salads, and occasionally certain brands are kind of mushy. They're just not firm. This one's nice and firm. I really like this. Had a nice flavor, and you can see the garlic in there. Uh, but these are good. So uh, I'm making a tortellini pasta salad, and I wanted to put these in there. And also, I saw that they had pitted Kalamata olives. So I thought, why not? So I haven't tried these. I have tried these, and they're good. But those are going in my pasta salad. And if you have not tried this Sobisk brand of crackers, they recently started carrying, I don't know if it's new packaging, and they've always had these crackers, or they just recently started carrying them. But this is like my third purchase of these thin vegetable garden veggie crackers. They're delicious. They also have thin wheats, which are kind of a dupe to wheat thins. I, I think they're, they taste, they don't taste exactly like wheat thins, the thin wheats, but they're very good. Uh, delicious, if you ask me, and these thin vegetable are delicious. They also have a cheddar cheese. They look exactly like Cheez-Its, 
except in my opinion they're they're better it just depends on on your taste to me the cheese crackers from Sobisk are more buttery richer tasting more cheesy I love them I don't buy those because I buy those for the grandkids but if I buy them I'll, I'll just sit down and eat the whole box um, then I picked up oh and they also have a chicken uh, what do they call it I think they just call it a chicken cracker which is also good doesn't taste like chicken but it's good these Monet crackers are absolutely delicious. I typically get the original in the blue box, but I saw the wheat, so I, I thought I'd buy this one as well. These are, are great for a charcuterie board, or uh, they're just those big, really buttery, delicious crackers. So I got the wheat ones, and this is also a repurchase for me. Oh, I, I think my Dollar Tree's got them in maybe it's been a month uh, these are the storage essentials refrigerator storage bin it's a nice size plastic bin I purchased two previously and I got two more because I really like them I love them for keeping together all the grandkids snacks like I I will fill these here I'll fill them with snacks these are in the Dollar Tree this is unsweetened applesauce I forget the brand name I I think I showed it in the video so um, I had picked up one of those previously and they're very good and that I also picked up uh, something I didn't show in the video and that's the wild harvest organic strawberry applesauce yeah and so and that came in a box of four just like the unsweetened applesauce did so I'll put this type of thing uh, individual yogurts little fruit cups um, puddings that sort of thing in these bins so when the grandkids come over and they ask <laughs> what they can snack on they can open the refrigerator and it's all together in these bins and you know they don't have to go hunting for it they see it right away so I love these bins and I got two more of those so that you guys is my haul I hope you were taking some notes of things that you saw you want to try and find at your Dollar Tree and I hope you find them thanks for watching and I'll catch you in my next video bye now